hey guys blessing here and how are you all doing so here i go again introducing my third official car in a period of just eight months so in this video i am going to explain to you guys how come i'm changing cars like i'm changing slippers <laughs> So here is the story about this latest car that I'm now driving. Before I go into the story, let me just tell you it's a Volkswagen ID3. I'm pronouncing it the Dutch way. You guys know that the Volkswagen is a German car. And I actually got it approximately a month and a half ago. But I have just not been able to sit down and do a video about it. Now, the story behind this whole collecting a new car every other month almost is that the first one that i got after i got employed was an electric car but at that time we didn't have so many charging ports in my neighborhood so i complained to my employer and i told them that it was very difficult with two kids to be walking 10 minutes 15 minutes to go have the car charged i did a video about it before I will try to put the link of that video in the caption. I'm going to title it part one. My employer obliged and they understood my plight. So they told me I could have an exchange. And then they gave me a manually driven benzene based car or petrol driven car, which happened to be my second car. I drove that one for a couple of months, but the key problem here, well, not really a problem, but the issue here is that my company has a green policy. Their fundamentals lie in zero emission. You guys know we work with Schiphol Airport and Schiphol has the ambition to be zero waste by 2030 and all their main contractors all their partners and business units and everybody connected with them has the corporate responsibility to propagate that mission anyways to cut the long story short after some months of having driven that car somehow i got an email from my employer telling me blessing there is a new car awaiting you and i went back to them and tried to counter that decision telling them you guys remember we don't have enough charging ports in my neighborhood and they were like no 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 things have changed now a couple of months down the line we looked up your address and we can see that just approximately 300 meters from where you live there is a charging port and then i went and controlled it and i found that to be true i didn't have any more defense not to accept a new car which is this one and this one also is full electric and i now actually turn out to really really love the car i am now enjoying this car more than i was enjoying the first one that i got because the first one that i got was not only difficult to have it charged it also didn't have a very high range you could only drive 150 kilometers with that car but this one i can actually drive over 300 kilometers with it which is more than double the first one so i'm really enjoying this one the ease of charging it and all the state of the art features that it has now i think it's a good time to do a review about this car so like i said initially this car is a full electric one it's from 2023 which is pretty new it costs over 40,000 euros if you had to purchase it in full i didn't purchase it i only got it <laughs> i only got it from my boss um it's keyless start you can start the car without a key without a car key it has parking sensors front and back with very very excellent high definition cameras like mind blowing another thing that i really love about this car is winter months like we haven't really had snow yet but once it starts to snow i don't need to scrape off snow any longer from my windscreen it has a heated windscreen i just press a button and all the snow just melts away the multimedia system is wonderful to say the least in fact i was actually lost for words when i saw it it has full map navigation system speech control so i can literally sit down and talk 
with my car the the car already recognizes my voice for certain features but there are still other features that i need to include my voice which oh my god i'm just gonna be talking and just with my car like <laughs> anyways the back seat can be retracted so you can really flatly pull it down and i'm already looking at it and i'm telling myself i definitely i'm gonna put a mattress here or just blankets and sleep here when we go on a road trip that 100 percent i'm sure of that i like the armrest i have actually never had a car with an armrest at the driver's side so that's really cool i can just relax one arm when i'm driving you can adjust the front seat both front seats you can lift up you can bring down you can adjust the steering wheel so if maybe you have shorter hands you can pull the steering wheel closer to you if your hands are pretty long you can push the steering wheel backward another feature that is not very uncommon is the adaptive cruise control so you're driving the car adjusts its speed to the speed limit of wherever you're driving so sometimes i'm driving 100 kilometers per hour once i get to the neighborhood where 50 is driving the car automatically by itself goes back to 50. so this car is really an intelligent car designed with sensors all over and it's also very cool that there are wireless charging ports in this car not only at the front of the car but also for the passengers behind they can charge their phones behind the car the glass of the window is noise isolated so i could be jamming to the video and nobody out there would hear any sound coming out of the car which is really awesome another beautiful feature i think this one was made for me that this car has is the lane sensor with correction and what that means is if for any reason for example i'm tired i'm falling asleep behind the steering wheel i start to gear off my lane the car is going to readjust and recenter the car back the anti-collision signals will go off it would give me signs and signals and voice warnings here and there and it would recenter the car it would bring it back intelligent smart car and that is also of course connected with fatigue recognition and it also has all-round airbags so side airbags back airbags front everywhere airbags so the safety features are not only designed for the driver and the passenger sitting in front but also the people at the back and of course you know that as parents our children mostly sit behind the car their safety is even more paramount than ours traffic board detection i already mentioned that i think and the head-up display you guys check this out augmented reality ish going on here i don't really think i have a problem with parking but i know that many women find it difficult to park the car this car remembers a parking spot so for example we have a parking spot on our property my car recognizes that they have to park at that particular spot so i don't need to park the car myself the car can park itself i just sit down fold my hands and the car just drives itself into a compound how beautiful is that a car that parks your car for you <laughs> and another thing for maybe very tall people is the plenty leg room that you have if you have long legs eh, this car is just ideal for you sometimes i go shopping with my kids and i'm not really in the mood of going to open the boot and putting my stuff inside my child is in front or wherever i just drop the grocery there somewhere in the car and i have more than enough space to do all of that laziness and last but not least i don't know if you guys are going to believe this one but this car goes from zero to a hundred kilometers per hour in just seven seconds hey <laughs> that is how fast this car competes with the tesla i kid you not when it comes to speed when it comes to safety when it comes to intelligence when it comes to state of the art this car would be going head to head against the tesla 
I'm honestly very pleased with it. So it's just really time for me to enjoy this car. All the enjoyment that I didn't have on the first electric car, I am going to have all of it with this car. I don't know for how long I can drive this one before I get another one, but for as long as it lasts, I am just here to enjoy it. So in one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to show you guys the process of installing a charging port in your house which is something that we are going to be doing very soon i think it's going to come in a couple of months then i would no longer need to walk two three minutes going to charge the car i can just come home plug my car go into the house sleep wake up the next day and remove the charger and i'm good to go that is bliss <laughs> that is relaxation that is an easy breezy life and i'm here for that so for now i'm just going to say thank you all so much for watching this video if you have questions about this car go ahead and drop all of your questions down below in the comment section if it's something that i can answer i would be more than glad to do so if you have enjoyed this video and you'd love to see other videos similar to this one all you have to do is follow this page if you are not following me already give the video a thumbs up and share it in your community thank you once again for watching i remain blessed and i will catch you all on my next one